think about the fact that I went from this good guy to this bad guy in that short period of time. And there was a lot of different versions of the Scotty Baldwin character. Gloria Monty, the producer at the time, had stashed me in the trailer. I had to sit in there for, for a number of hours. I didn't want to do that because, you know, it's like, why am I stuck in here? But she really didn't even want the crowd to, to know about it that was working that day. The trick was, if anybody can show why they shouldn't be married, they thought, boom, that's when Scotty's gonna show up, and he didn't. All of a sudden, the bouquet goes up and it's just all fun and games, and out of nowhere, you know, there's the snatch. I think when he realized that Laura was not coming his way again and he hooked up with some of the bad girls of Port Charles, Heather and Lucy, and I think trying to hoodwink Susan more into marrying me so that I can get my grubby hands on Jason's fortune was as, as crazy as it probably was for the character. Your character and you eventually melt into one and you, you, you have to realize that to keep your character alive, you have to keep yourself alive and interested in things and reinventing who you are and how you're going to play this through the decades. You have to move along and hopefully the audience moves along with you and if they do, they're growing with you and you're, you're, you're there, you know, still they're still interested in what you're up to. My name is Ken Triner and you're watching TVInsider.com.